Hi, this is J.P. Presavento, the Fox C6 Coordinator of Instructional Technology. This video will demonstrate how to create an automatic room reservation system using Google Calendar appointment slots. To get started, we're going to head on over to Google Calendar and create a new calendar. The first thing you want to do once you head on over to your Google Calendar is to create a new calendar. To do that, I'm going to click the down arrow to the right of the word My Calendars and hit Create New Calendar. When you're creating appointment slots, you'll want to create one calendar for each space you need to reserve. So this calendar will be specifically for one computer lab. I'll have another calendar for the next computer lab, etc., etc. So I'll go ahead and give it a name and a description. After I give it a name and description, I'll go ahead and share this calendar, and I'll let people in the organization see all event details. And then I'll click Create Calendar at the top of the screen. Once I create the calendar, I need to start inserting appointment slots. To insert an appointment slot, I'll go ahead over to this first day where I want the appointments to be located. I'll go ahead and click to create an event. Only instead of event, I'm going to go ahead and click Appointment Slot and that will allow me to start creating appointments. I'll go ahead first and switch the calendar from my calendar to the calendar on which I want the appointment slot to live and I'll hit edit details. Then we'll go ahead and give this particular event a title. With the title I went ahead and designated a class period so that it's easy for the person who's trying to reserve the calendar to see when exactly they're reserving it. And then I'll pick a time block, so I'll use this date, and I'll start, let's say first hour starts at 7.20, and it goes to 8.06. And I did that just so you can see that you can edit these times pretty granularly. Since this is something that will be every weekday, I'm going to go ahead and check the box that says repeat. And I want this to repeat every weekday, Monday to Friday, starting on the 1.25. And I don't think I want this to end because I'll use this every single year. And then I'll go ahead and click Done. And we'll type in the where, and then we'll type in a little description. And in the description, that will be a space where whoever is reserving the room could put in a few details about what they're doing. So notice in the where, I just went ahead and asked for name, what was going on, and the number of participants. This is from my district level calendar, so you may want to customize this for you. The other thing we need to do here is under type, we, need to want, we want to offer this as a single appointment slot. So we'll have this one slot, 720 to 806, repeating every weekday, and it's never going to end. And then we'll go ahead and hit save. Once we hit save, you see these populating right over here. And if I continue to scroll throughout the weeks, you'll see it's there every single week. Now we just need to replicate that same process for the rest of the school day. So I went ahead and created appointment slots for the first three class periods of the day. And now that I have created all of my appointment slots, the next thing I need to do is have a place where these appointment slots are going to live. Um, in this case, I'm going to use a Google site that I've already created. So we're going to head on over to that Google site and I'll show you how to embed this calendar on that site. Now that I'm on the Google site I created, and you can use wherever, whatever type of website you use, if you're um, whatever web host your school uses, or if you use a Google site or Weebly, the process will be very similar. We need to go ahead and embed our calendar onto this page. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and grab some embed code, and I'm going to have it up on the screen, but this code will also be in the video description on the YouTube link. Here's the code that I'm going to use right here. And all you're going to have to do is take your URL to your appointment slot calendar and paste it right here. To access that URL, I'm going to head back on over to my calendar. And I'm going to click on one of the um, appointment slots. And right here, you see the calendar's appointment page. I'm going to copy that appointment page. And then I'm going to go ahead come back over to this embed code. And where it says insert URL here, I'm just going to paste that web address. 
what I'm going to do next is I'm going to copy this whole piece of code. And then I'm going to come back over to my site. And I'm going to click the HTML button at the top right corner of my site. And right in between these two BRs, I'm going to enter once, and I'm going to paste my code in. Once I paste the code, I'll hit Update. And then I'll hit Save. You'll see the appointment slot calendar <clears throat> will show up right here on this page. So then whenever someone wants to reserve this room, they'll just come on over and they'll look for the week and time where they need to make a reservation. Click on the slot they want. And then they'll see um, what is the calendar, the event name, and in parentheses will be their name. Where? And then the description, you can kind of pull down over here and edit this information as needed and hit save. I'll go and click OK. It'll stay here. And then what happens is for other users this slot will show up white or blank but for when someone's logged in they'll see all anything they have on their calendar in addition to the appointment slots labeled here. A few things to keep in mind when you're using appointment slots is that you want to make sure that you're using the Google Chrome web browser because in my experience this does not work well with Internet Explorer. And you also need to make sure that you are signed into your Google account. Since your Google Calendar um, works with this system, it wants to see what's on your calendar and if you're not signed in it won't let you view the appointment slots. The other thing you may want to do is create a custom short URL using a service like Bitly or Tiny URL. So that if someone shoots you an email asking to reserve the room, you can just respond with the link to the appointment slot calendar. This has been JP Presvento, the Fox School District Coordinator of Instructional Technology, demonstrating how to create a reservation system with Google Calendar appointment slots.